Well, it's December here in Wisconsin, so that means time to catch the weasels. How we catch the weasels, we put out what we call weasel boxes. Inside we have a Victor Rat Trap. That's what we use. You can use a number one, uh, put in there or whatever, but we use rat traps. Make sure you get the ones with the big yellow pan. Um, if you get the ones with just a little thin piece of copper, you're going to have to use some mesh or something to make it a little bit bigger because you want the weasel to come up through the hole, look in, and then he's going to jump down. You want him to jump down right on top of this pan and, and be caught. What we use for weasel bait, we use uh, chicken livers, uh, beef liver, anything, any kind of meat, extra meat that's real bloody works really good. Um, for our weasel boxes, we don't do all that fancy stuff with latches and and uh, hinges or anything like that. We just bit. Well, I'm going to show you right here how we make them. Basically, what you're going to need is we use uh, the dog ear fence board. Uh, this comes six foot long. We have some to cut off of here. And uh, it's made out of cedar and it's treated. That way, these weasel boxes last a really long time. Now, you can use a regular one by six. Um, you can use probably a one by four would might work with the rat trap, but you can use anything like that. But basically what you're going to want to get is two, for this you need two six and three eighths inch boards. Um, if you use decking or something like that, it's probably going to be a little bit longer. Um, but you're going to want three 12 inch pieces, and then I have one 18 inch piece. That leaves you on a six foot board, that's going to leave you, I don't know, six or seven inches left over. And what that's good for is if you get a big knot or you know something that ain't right in there, you can, you'll have a little bit of leeway. The only one that really doesn't give you any leeway is from here to here. you got to have that 18 inches. Um, another thing, when you do this, start at the back side, measure for your first board, maybe your 12-inch board, draw your line, cut it. Then measure again, draw your 12 inches, and cut it. Don't measure and draw it all out because when you go with your saw, your saw blade takes up about an eighth of an inch out. So when you get down to the end, you're going to end up with a lot of pieces that don't match up. Um, we build ours. We use an inch and a half bore bit for the front hole. I use a half inch bit to drill some holes in the back. Um, a lot of guys make another hole in there and then they put some mesh over it. That's a lot of dinking around. I just use a half inch bore bit and I drill a bunch of holes. We're going to use trapping wire instead of springs and, and door latches. So you're going to need two pieces about six inch. Then we're going to be your hinges in the back. And then we're going to need another piece that's you know 18 inches long that we're going to use for the over the top. The other thing that's going to be important that you get, I use drywall screws. Now you can nail this together with roofing nails or finishing nails or anything else. I use drywall screws because it holds it together better. But you're going to want to make sure you get inch and a quarter but you want to make sure you get the number six coarse thread because that, when you're putting these in there, it doesn't split that board because they're a lot thinner. So let's get started. Kind of look at your pieces here, and whichever piece you think is going to make the best bottom, start with that. So you're going to take your bottom piece, and we're going to start three screws on each side. You want to make sure you come back in about an inch because if you go too close, you're just going to split the wood. So you want to come back from the end about an inch, start your screws, and you can go right ahead and start six of them right away, three on each side. These are a, it's a great project to do with the kids, and then get them out there and get them weasel trapping. This weasel trapping is just a riot. And get our other started here. Try to get these screws to go in as straight as you can. That way when you go into that other sideboards you're okay because they're only you know basically a half inch wide. So now you line it up. on now don't over crank these babies because if you do you're going to end up if you end up a uh, 
And I'm going to grab another piece. Put that on right away. The other thing I like to use to set for uh, bait is I use Lennon's Weasel All Call for uh, call lure. That works pretty good. Alright, we got that done. Now we're going to put a, our back and our front on there. Get them on there, lined up. I only need two screws in this. I don't want to go too close to the edge. You go too close to the edge, you're going to split the wood. This is a great way to start kids out trapping because it gives them a nice little project to do. And then they can go out and trap. My kids started out with weasel traps. Put the other one on there. Uh, you know, if these are crooked or a little bit uh, uncut, you can don't have to worry too much about it. It's only a weasel box. Put that a little bit, but that's all right. We'll just back it out a little bit. And if you split it too bad, you can always run another one in the side here to kind of hold it together. There we go. Now, first things first. Take your inch and a half, or you can make a two inch. A lot of some guys go a two inch hole. I don't think I miss any weasels by having an inch and a half. And you want to make sure you're not right dead center. You want to be just a little bit high of center. Because then that makes the weasel climb up there and he kind of jumps in the box. The reason I drill these holes after I get it together, it's a lot easier to hold this big box than it is to hold that little piece of wood. So there's the hole for the front. Looks like that. And we'll do our our back holes. And like this right here, it's not a necessity. I don't know if it does good or not. I just use it for because I think it lets that scent from them chicken livers in that bloody liver in there. I think that lets the air circulate through. And a weasel comes up behind your box. He's still going to smell that. And he's going to try to get in there. And he's going to have to go around the front to do it. One more. When he goes around the front, he's going to be a goner. That's all we got there. Just enough to get that air through. Nothing pretty. Now for our top, I use a smaller drill bit, I think it's about an eighth of an inch. Take and drill two holes in the back, but you want to drill them down a little bit, and you want to make sure that they go inside of the box. So there's one, and there's two. Now set your lid on there. Then line your holes up and drill that. When I say line your holes up, I mean line them up so they're good to go. Now for your hinge wire. Just run that piece of trapping wire through the through the hole. And then up through that hole. Just like that. Take your other one. Same thing, run it through the other hole. And bring it up through your lid. Just like that. Here. 
And you want to make sure you pull them so they're nice and tight. Get them through there a little bit. There you go. This one can be pulled a little more. Bend them over. Twist them. Well, like I said, you can use hinges if you want. I just don't see no sense in buying hinges when the way it works. And just kind of bend them over. Just like that. <clears throat> now you need a <clears throat> screw in each side. First screw, don't screw it in all the way. Leave it out a little bit. Take and wrap your wire around. Just like that. Now you can screw it all the way in. like that. Screw on the other side. And all you gotta do is when you bring it down, wrap your wire around it a couple times, and you're ready to go. You can snip off a little bit of extra. There it is. Weasel box. All ready to go. And if you got a bunch of this cut already, you can boom, 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 boom. You have a dozen traps in no time. You can buy the traps a dozen at a time. You're ready to rock and roll. So we'll go out, we'll get our weasel line set up, and then uh, we'll take you out there, show you the spots that we're setting, and then we'll show you some catches and how to skin and flesh and stretch them. Thanks.